Welcome to the Morning Line on TVG. I'm Matt Carruthers in the TVG studios in Los Angeles. I'll be all by myself for the next four hours. But plenty of company, plenty of great racing, and I, I can lean a lot on the crew that we have at Gulfstream Park. Todd Trupp, Paul LaDuca, Kate and Bradar taking you through that program at Gulfstream. It's just a couple of days away from the highly anticipated Florida Derby with a couple undefeated horses, Mohamed and Nyquist, in that event. But... Meantime, a lot of things to discuss here. Another huge prep race on Saturday at Turfway Park in the half million dollar spiral stakes. Full field uh, scheduled to go in this race. It's always an exciting race. Always great betting opportunities on spiral Saturday at Turfway Park. And if you don't believe me, graphics, they seldom lie. $500,000, grade three event, race 10 on the program. Yep, field of 14. And the conditioner of your morning line favorite, Aeroforce. He's a busy man. He's one of the best in the business. He's Mark Cassie. He's kind enough to join me on, on the morning line, batting leadoff. Mark, are you there from Ocala, Florida? I am, Matt. I'm, I'm in Ocala today. So uh, we, we're excited. Big weekend. It's always a big weekend for you, though, because you have an all-star stable. Um, so many horses to get to. Well, let's get right to it, and let's begin with Aeroforce. Um, you know, before we get into the, the prospects of Aero Force being a, a derby horse, not, let, let's concentrate on the spiral. How's he doing? How's he been doing since uh, a disappointing performance in the Risen Star on the 20th of February? And, and evaluate your competition for me a little bit, if you would, in the spiral. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Matt. We got to, you know, take one step at a time. Um, really don't have a good, good explanation over his, uh, you know, his last start. A lot of people. On to say maybe you know he didn't handle the dirt, but my feeling was if he didn't handle the dirt, he gets beat five or six lengths, not forty. So uh, we brought him, we brought him back to home, which is Ocala. We trained him, and he just he did everything right. We put him through a bunch of different tests. Everything was good, and um, he's trained extremely well. Uh, you know, on the on, on the synthetic, we we've had the the, the ability to take him and. And training at OBS on the on the they call it safe track, which is similar to poly track, and he's trained well. You know, as far as the competition goes, yeah, looks like a solid field. Um, my my feeling is if the real Aero Force shows up, then uh, there's there's not going to be any problem. It's just a matter of does Aero Force show up. All right, right now in terms of points, you desperately need to perform well here. You're I think 27th on the list with just 10 points. Let's just let's be real positive here and say that Aero Force runs a really good race um, in, in the spiral on Saturday. Are you then going to lean Kentucky Derby? And how how much does it matter that he won at Churchill, even though it was over a sloppy racetrack? And and how much will go into it that the fact that horses out of the spiral have actually done pretty well in the Derby? I mean, Animal well, Kingdom comes to mind, won the spiral in 2011 right. and won the Derby. My feeling is this, Matt, and I've been saying this for 15, 20 years, um, or 15 years, I, I believe that horses that like synthetic mm -hmm. or like turf, that have turf tendencies, appreciate Churchill Downs a lot. Um, okay. I can tell you, I had a horse, it's been a while back, but a horse called Seaside Retreat, who ended up winning right. millions of dollars on the turf, mostly. But I um, I ran him in the spiral. He, he should have won the spiral. And we took him then to Keeneland, which was dirt, and he got beat 40 lengths. I then ran him in the Derby. He ran 10th in the Derby, got beat 10 lengths, which may not sound like a great race, but you got to remember Barbara won by six and a half lengths. So th there's a case in point where Turf Horse did perform well at Churchill Downs. And, and let's face it, I think Aero Force probably does have, you know, he's shown his ability on the turf. Um, you know, one of the things, not only did he win at Churchill in the slop, but you got to remember, he's trained there a big part of his career. And and we feel very comfortable with the way he gets over Churchill Downs. You know, when we went to New Orleans, we had no idea how he would handle that racetrack. We could only base it on the way he handled Palm Meadows. And he handled Palm Meadows well. Um, he handled synthetic much better, mm -hmm. um, at least in, in my eyes. All right, but before we, we move on to the big horse, Tevin, last question about Aero Force. In terms of the tactics in this race, there doesn't appear to be much speed, Mark. I mean, I think Jensen to the inside, the three has a little bit of pace. I guess don't be so salty, the four. 
not a lot of pace. Does Aero Force have the ability to be a little bit closer than he's been thus far in his career early? I think so, you know, and especially with our post position. I think we have to come away from there and ask him to run a little bit and try to get, you know, some type of position. All right, let's, let's move on to, to Teppen. I believe that Jenny Wiley is where you're pointing her, to, her towards. She's a star, Mark. I mean, how, how neat is it to have a runner like this? And let's go back to the Hillsboro on the 12th of March. I, you know, I, I thought she was beaten. Here's Isabella Sings, John Velasquez, you know, opening up early on in this race, uh, appeared to have a lot left turning from. What were your thoughts turning for home in this race? Do you think she had any chance of winning? <laughs> you know where I got mostly concerned, Matt, was about the 3 eighths pull. I could see <laughs> Julian start to move his hands. And it didn't look like she was taking off. And I knew at that point she had to take off to catch that filly. So, so yeah, I was nervous. What's kind of funny is Patrick Husbands had flown in from Barbados to come to my dad's memorial yeah. the next day. And he's standing next next to me. And at the quarter pole, he says, no worries, buddy. No worries. We're gonna You're going to catch her. You're going to catch her. And I looked at him like... <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you're not worried. I told I told a lot of people. I said I enjoyed the replay much more than the actual right. race. Sure. Well, once once you, you knew know, that, so, uh, what the uh, result was, um, do you have time to enjoy her greatness? I mean, you're working so hard. Do you have time to sit back and really appreciate what, what, what she's doing? You know, I do. I do. Um, you know, though, and I've said this. And, and I have I have to tell you, I have a greater appreciation today for the the guys, you know, the Bill Motts and, and, and Bob Bob Bafford, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of people said, Well, the pressure of of, you know, winning the triple crown. The pressure begins once you win the triple crown. You know, and 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 I think that's true with Teppen. You know, Teppen is becoming kind of a household name. Yes. She She's got just a tremendous record, and and it, it's our responsibility not to tarnish that record. And and I take that, you know, we take that. I shouldn't say me, just, you know, Norman. Norman has been just – Norman is really – Teppen is Norman's girl. And, um, you know, so we we worry about that. And, and, and I have to tell you, before the uh, – it wasn't the Hillsboro. I can't remember the name of the first race at Tampa. The Endeavor. Uh the endeavor yeah bill mott was in the paddock and he came and whispered in my ear he said can you breathe <laughs> and i said how did you do it with cigar and he just smiled and after uh Teppen won the endeavor he came back to me in the winter circle and whispered in my ear again okay now you can breathe <laughs> and that's Excellent. and that's you know that's the that's that's what it is and it's not about man it's not about us it's about her now Right. You know, well, protecting you, her. We well, have a star in Teppen. You have catch a glimpse, so maybe not a household name yet, but getting close, Mark. She won the Juvenile Phillies turf, uh, obviously as a two-year-old. She lost her debut. She's won four in a row. Uh, you know, her, her first start this year in 2016, the Here Comes the Bride, was a really stylish win off the layoff. Uh, the Appalachian, April 14th at Keeneland, that's going to be her next start, Mark? Yes, that's it. And, and you know what, Matt? Um, I've always thought she was, you know, a, a good filly. I told a lot of people going, a lot of people asked me going into the Breeders' Cup who our best shot of winning, you know, a Breeders' Cup race was. And I told everybody catch a glimpse. I thought, you know, hmm. I just wasn't sure how Teppen could handle the international competition especially the Colts um and I so I was in I've been impressed with catch glimpse for a while now I have to tell you her last race really impressed me because I think I'm we're starting to see things that we see in Teppen and that is wow Teppen Teppen is allowed Teppen can relax but when you push the gas pedal the acceleration you know they're traveling at a high rate of speed and when you push the gas pedal there's still something left in the engine and I, and I saw that the last time in catch a glimpse and I told everybody after the race I said that reminds me she was now beginning to remind me a lot of Teppen and in fact I, I read some articles I think maybe Mike Watchmaker never uh, heard of even him. said something yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, 
<laughs> yeah, he's some new guy they have. <laughs> right. I think he works for some called DRF. <laughs> Young whippersnapper. Sure. But, yeah, yeah. Yes, but but so you know, I'm not the only one that mm-hmm. sees that, and uh, you know that to have two tap, you know, to have another wow. one like that would be just unbelievable. And you know, we're very lucky. We have a great organization, and um, we have some stars. We have you, you know. I know there's one more horse, Mark. For us at, Mark, there's one, a big day for us at Gulfstream as well. Yeah, I, I, there's another, you have so many big horses. I'm going to ask you about one more that I, I've become a big fan of, and many of our viewers have. Noble Bird, winner of the Foster, pulled that big upset last year. Right. Um, how's he doing? And I think you're, you're going to you're going to sprint him in his r- return well, race. Is that what you're planning on doing? I don't know what I'm going to do. He, he's got well, he's got me scratching my head right now. So. We don't know. We had him okay. out at Oakland. He did not care for Oakland at all. We just took him to Keeneland. We're going to see how he trains. Noble Bird tells you when he's ready, and he still hasn't really – he's just not been himself yet. He's sound. Okay. He's happy. He's just, so we'll see. But, uh, yeah, Noble Bird is um, is a nice horse. i tell you who I, I really believe is going to end up being a really good horse is the horse we ran last week, uh, World Approval. I think he is – I can see world approval if he stays healthy is going to be, you know, a big, big turf horse this year. It's, we have a lot of nice turf horses. Um, yeah, no kidding. You know, uh, I think I think I looked the other day, the only guy that's won more than us right now is Chad. So, uh, you know, you're we keeping, don't have a lot of European influence right now. You're keeping In fact, some... I don't, we have none. So uh, <laughs> maybe we'll see. You're keeping some good company up there with, with, with Chad, Ron. Thank you so much for the time. Um, best of luck with Aero Force in the spiral at Turfway on Saturday. And also, congratulations on being nominated for the Canadian Racing Hall of Fame. Mark, well done. Oh, thanks, Matt. And it's always enjoyable talking to you, and um, I, I, I love your enthusiasm. Say, say hi to, to Norm. Give, give, give my best to Norm and the entire, uh, the, the entire team. Okay. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. Bye. Mark Cassie. Bet anywhere with TVG.